Nothing from Victoria. We've all we've completed all those Victoria missions. Might as well check and see if there's anything else. I mean, the only thing we can do now is like little uh, side shit that I'm not really a huge fan of doing right now. Um, I, I don't think I will do that. If I do, I will try to do all the side shit like in a stream, uh, which uh, the streams are going to be happening uh, as I can as I can really do it, and that's probably going to be like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, after uh, after class, and then try to get some recording done. Hopefully, uh, I don't have too much on my plate on those days. I, mean, I only have one class Monday and Friday, but then um, but then um, wait, what day is it? Uh, a different day. I've got uh, even less than that. I, actually, no. Wednesday I have two classes, and Tuesday and Thursday I have all my classes basically so it's uh it's kind of weird uh my, my schedule on tuesday and thursday is basically packed hopefully at the end of the day i can record and get some stuff done then uh but monday wednesday and friday i have one class on those um uh, monday and friday two classes on wednesday but i'm still doing an internship uh earlier in those mornings but I don't think I have class till 4, and I'm going to be getting back here around 1.30, so I do have time to sit down and try to get some editing done, or depending on what kind of homework and shit I have to do, that's how that's going to work. But, uh, I guess that's the end of the game. I mean, the, the ending of the game didn't really come as fat, as quickly as I thought it would. I, uh, it came a lot quicker than I thought it would, and it didn't really make itself known. I kind of wish there was more of a grandiose exit, especially for Steric, because Steric, and he found the piece of Eden, and it, it was healing him and everything, and then we we knocked him over, doing like the, I, I don't know what the fuck happened, but we knocked the dude over, and somehow that, that was how all this... It, it fell off, and it, that's just how all this worked, but it's it's kind of weird. Uh, but if I had to give this game a, uh, a grade, in terms of Assassin's Creed games, I would give this a uh, a good seven. Uh, and for seven, uh, seven is good for me because I rarely ever give anything a perfect grade. So basically, it's a nine out of ten. <laughs> nine out of ten would be the highest grade I've given, or I'll add a decimal. But I would say this is seven out of ten uh, in, for a game. But in terms of the Assassin's Creed, uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, in terms of Assassin's Creed games, I give it a seven. In terms of uh, it being a game in general, I'm gonna give it a nine. Uh, this game is actually a lot of fun. It looks great. Uh, unfortunately, my graphics card. I need to update it and try to get this uh, to look a lot better. I can make this look so much better, but the problem is I don't have uh, any of that shit any of new stuff. The the big problem for me is oh this is that's a weird group to be walking around in. Um oh hello. Right. Children's gonna give me stuff. But I, I have a bunch of uh oh sweet. I, I have a bunch of other stuff I need to get done. Uh with, with this game. In terms of editing, I have to get a bunch of this stuff done. Um there, there's some other things that I wish this game had uh, I can't really say too much why it, I'm going to give it a 7. Besides, it's basically a feeling I have. But but the game, I did not want want to. You can go away. I didn't want you here. Right, lads. That'll be all. Um, there, there was too much of this game that I, I periodically played to give it a better grade. Or to give it a worse grade, really. Uh, there were parts of it that didn't make much sense. I, I had a problem with some parts being kind of hard for me, uh, but that that was just me being a fucking idiot. Um, I, I say that about most most games. Like they, there are parts in all games that I have a hard time beating. Um, I really wish there was more character development uh, for both Jacob and Evie. They really didn't do anything until the end of the game, and then it really didn't matter uh, in terms of. 
what happened. The only character progression Evie had was she went from not knowing Henry to liking Henry, and that was like sequence one and one and a half. And uh, Jacob went from wanting to own a gang to having a gang, and that was the first sequence. And then everything since then was just, all right, how do I kill this guy for for Jacob? And then how do I find this vault for Evie? I mean, the, the action sequence were fantastic. Uh, sequences, they were all good. Um, they, they look kind of chunky for me just because I'm not running everything at 60 frames per second. It's uh, It jumps between 30 and uh, 52 or so. At least that's what it says over on the FPS counter for OBS, which is what I use for editing everything. But this game, I would say, is, is a definitely a good comeback for... Assassin's Creed. After Unity, this is definitely what was needed. They did a good job with it. They uh, This thing right here is a fucking lifesaver. I love this zipline thing. It's fantastic. Uh, I, I love it. It's It makes everything so much easier. It reminds me of Batman, though. Feels like it was kind of ripped away from Batman, but it's, it's alright. Um, the, the Arkham games. Uh, but then again, I mean, Batman doesn't exactly own ziplines. And it, it's not copywritten by by DC or anything, so... I mean, the, the game was good. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 out of the Assassin's Creed franchise. With the Unity, I'll give a solid 4. And 2 and, and 1... Actually, 2 and... 2 and Black Flag, I give the, the highest grade possible. Those are my favorite games. Uh, mechanics in this game were good. Buttons weren't hard. Kind of wish uh, they didn't do the whole uh, free run up, free run down thing. I mean, it doesn't really make anything easier, especially for me. Uh, I really liked the Assassin's Creed 2 way of doing things. It was much easier. You could either run or you could sprint, and I I was a fan of that. I was real happy with all that. Uh, but that, that that's something they changed with Unity, and they actually fixed it in this one. It works out pretty well. Don't have to use the left bumper to go through buildings as often as you used to. Um, getting around the city is actually pretty easy. Uh, they, I, I can only say good things. That a couple bad things is just the character progression and uh, I never thought I'd see that every now and then it was hard. I guess I, mean, I, I was pretty reckless with a lot of things. Uh, there were parts that uh, that there would be like little extras that were almost impossible to do. I don't know why, it just, just was. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill these guys. Alright. The, the killing was awesome, the, the guns were alright. I really wish the guns were better. Um, I mean, they, they were good, I just wish they had better guns. Uh, the self-loading pistol is pretty cool. I just wish it looked better, but then again... I'm not really. I should stop asking for too much in this. Uh, but yeah, we have finished Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Unless I find out there's something else, and if there's DLC, you will probably see DLC coming out of it as soon as I can do it. Uh, but until then, I'm gonna have to leave you guys here. And uh, oh, I want to talk about the gang. The gang. The gang was pretty cool. The whole upgrading system was also really cool. You had to spend a bunch of money to do everything. Uh, there, it was almost like you, there was no way to actually, uh, no way to actually finish everything without spending a ton of money. Now, I didn't do too much in the way of collectibles, uh, and you would get colors for getting all these, like, uh, little tiny flowers, the press flowers and everything, uh, but I didn't find too much in the way of the music boxes. Um, that's, the, that seems like something I would be doing, I would have to do as, uh, as something extra, uh, that that's not something I plan on doing just because I don't have time to do it. I'm ready to move on to the next game. Uh, I will be taking a break from Assassin's Creed, and I will be doing the next Batman game. And then after Batman, I will be moving back to doing more Assassin's Creed. And then we'll switch them back and forth. Because I'm going to do Arkham Origins next. Then I'll do Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And if I feel like finishing off Brotherhood, I'll do Revelations uh, and if I'm running out of games to do at that point, I'll do Revelations, and I'll do, um, uh, Arkham Knight. 
So those games uh, look forward to in the future. We uh, we definitely have some stuff to do. Oh, there was a there was a lot of bullshit in this game that like a lot of extra stuff like all the burrows. There was a lot of that. Really wish there wasn't so much. Like if they could have tied the burrows into the story, that could have been really cool. Uh, they kind of did by making each burrow harder and harder to get, but it felt like Assassin's not Assassin's Creed. Uh, Grand Theft Auto is San Andreas, where you couldn't move on until you took control over all that little, uh, all those gang areas before, and those were hard to keep, just because it was, uh, they, they were always under attack again, and it, it was, it was, that was difficult, um, if you weren't using cheats. Uh, but they didn't, they didn't come under attack in this one like they used to in, like, Revenant, I think it was Revenant? Revenant. What the fuck is Revenant? No. Revelations. Like, like, uh, like it was in Revelations. Um. The, the water in this game, the, the boats in this game were kind of, I'm not just nit nitpicking. That's just what I do now. I'm still gonna keep the same, uh, same score. 7 out of 10 for, uh, for Assassin's Creed. 9 out of 10 as an actual game. Uh, just because it's, this game is fantastic. I, I enjoyed this game. It's not my favorite, uh, of the Assassin's Creed franchise. That's why I give it a 7. But if this was a standalone game, I would enjoy this game a lot. I, without a series around it, I would, I would really enjoy this game. Um. Heads up, G. Yeah, that, that's basically it. And I'll have, to, I'll, uh, I'll have to talk to you guys next time. Uh, make sure you check out my other series. Uh, when it comes out, and I'll have to talk to you guys later. Bye.